Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite Christmas cake recipe from this book. In my family, there aren't many of us that like Christmas cake and I didn't either until I tried this recipe. It makes quite a small cake, but I love the way that it makes the house smell when you bake it. So ideally you want to make your Christmas cake at least four to five weeks in advance. But if you don't have time, then you can make this recipe at least three to four days in advance of Christmas. So the night before you make your cake, you need to soak all of the fruit in alcohol. You need roughly chopped sultanas, raisins, chopped dried figs, chopped sour cherries, or if you can't get hold of those, you can use Marillo cherries like I have here, dried cranberries, whole glacé cherries, the zest of one lemon, the golden syrup, and the whiskey. Mix it all together, cover it over and leave it for the night. The next day, the fruit should have absorbed all of the liquid. So before you can make your cake mix, turn the oven onto 140 degrees, and then you need to prepare the tin that your cake is gonna be baked in. I'm gonna use a six inch round tin, which I need to line with paper, and I hate doing this, so I try to do it as quickly as possible. You also need to add some brown paper around the outside so that it doesn't burn around the edges, and so you get a more even bake. You can use newspaper if you don't have brown paper, or whatever paper you have really. Just secure it with string or staples. Now you can make your cake mixture. So you need to put the eggs and sugar in a bowl and whisk by hand until it's combined. Then in a separate bowl, cream together the butter and the ground almonds until they're just creamy, but not too aerated. Slowly add the egg mixture until you have a smooth emulsion. Then sift the remaining dry ingredients together and fold through the batter in two batches until it's just combined. Then you can add your infused fruit to the cake mix and combine thoroughly and evenly with either a spatula or clean hands. Now you can pour your cake mix into the prepared tin, level off the surface with the back of a spoon or a spatula and before baking, just tap it onto the surface to get rid of any air bubbles that may be inside. Then bake the cake on a low shelf for two to three hours and you can put a tray on the shelf above it to stop it from going too brown. To make sure your cake is cooked, you can insert a clean knife or a wooden skewer into the center of the cake and then it should come out clean. Allow the cake to cool for 10 minutes outside of the oven and while it's still warm, just brush the top of the cake with whiskey. Then let the cake cool completely on a wire cooling rack before wrapping in greaseproof paper and aluminium foil. And if you do have time to feed your cake leading up to Christmas, then I like to put a reminder in my phone because I always forget to feed it. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.